On this episode of Gulf Coastal Connections, we're heading to the Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge, an extraordinary sanctuary meticulously crafted to safeguard the natural habitat of Florida's treasure marine mammal, the Florida manatee. Since its inception in 1983, the refuge serves as a guardian of Three Sister Springs, a pristine sanctuary within Kings Bay. This refuge plays a pivotal role in preserving vital winter habitats for the Florida manatee. Among the seven federal manatee sanctuaries, King Springs, operational from November to March, emerges as a beacon providing indispensable shelter for over 600 manatees that annually grace Kings Bay with their migration. In the Chronicles of Manatee Rescue, Sewer Sam takes the spotlight as the inaugural documented Florida manatee to be rehabilitated. Jacques Cousteau orchestrated the rehabilitation of Sewer Sam right here at Three Sister Springs in 1972 etching a remarkable chapter in manatee conservation. The tale of Sewer Sam unfolds vividly in the documentary titled The Forgotten Mermaid, capturing the poignant journey of this iconic marine animal and its triumphant return to the waters. Hello, I'm Eddie Parker. It's early January at the time of filming and we are inviting you to join us as we head out with American Pro Diving Center to snorkel with manatees at the Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge. At American Pro Diving Center in Crystal River, Florida, they elevate underwater exploration to an art form. This top-rated PADI Diving and Snorkeling Center invites you to experience their unparalleled best of the best daily guided manatee dives a matchless year-round snorkel adventure. Dive into the crystal clear embrace of the Florida Springs, where their seasoned team of captains, dive masters, and instructors curate a safe and delightful encounter with the gentle Florida manatee. The winter, with its colder weather attracting the marine mammals in large numbers to stay warm, is the best time of year to see manatees at the spring with their constant 72 degree Fahrenheit spring water. But there is a resident manatee population making the spring a sublime backdrop for year-round snorkeling.
In the aquatic tapestry of marine mammals, the West Indian manatee emerges as a captivating protagonist within the Sirenia order. Trichius manatus, as it's scientifically known, stands as the largest living Sirenian, a herbivorous behemoth stretching between 9 to 11 feet long and weighing between 440 and 1,320 pounds. Its distinctive spatula-like paddle for propulsion and a prehensile snout echoing its elephant kin underscores the uniqueness that defines this underwater giant. Within the Trichicidae family, the West Indian manatee boasts three accepted living species, divided into two endangered subspecies, the Florida manatee and the Antillian manatee. Flourishing in warm coastal realms from the eastern United States to northern Brazil, these marine marvels, despite their imposing size, exhibit a docile nature.
Their navigation is guided by highly sensitive whiskers, complemented by vocal communications revealing individual nuances, especially in mother-calf interactions. Surprisingly, these giants, with their low metabolic rates and lacking natural predators, embark on extended deep dives, congregating during winter and breeding seasons in warm water habitats. As obligate herbivores, manatees indulge in a diet comprising over 60 aquatic plant species, with seagrass as a dietary cornerstone. The molars, worn down by a brace of plant feasting, perpetually renew in a rhythmic marching molar cycle.
tactile wonders known as vibraci adorn their bodies. They play a pivotal role in touch discrimination and navigating murky waters, detecting hydrodynamic stimuli. Living upwards of 50 years in the wild, manatees with their exceptional adaptations and behaviors stand not just as a marvel of nature, but as an indispensable participant in the intricate dance of aquatic ecosystems. As we resurface from this aquatic adventure, the Florida manatee stands not only as a marvel of nature, but as a testament to the possibility of a harmonious coexistence between humanity and the underwater realm. The Crystal River National Wildlife Refuge becomes a sanctuary where man and manatee share the stage fostering a deep appreciation for the delicate balance of our marine ecosystems. If you would like to watch more of our coverage of the Gulf Coastal Natural World, I'll leave the links in the descriptions. Our heartfelt thank you for being a part of our journey today. If you enjoyed our adventure, consider subscribing, expressing your support by tapping that like button, and spreading the joy with your friends. Every click reverberates through our storyline. And until our trails meet again, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again on Gulf Coastal Connections.